Meghan Markle and Prince Harry don't even know what they want, author Omid Scobie has claimed. Omid Scobie, who also co-wrote Finding Freedom in 2020, is gearing up for the release of his new book, Endgame, on November 28. The author, who is often speculated as being close to Harry and Meghan, recently spoke about about them, and their uncertain future, with Paris Match magazine. Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior working royals at the 2020, with the pair now living in the US with their two children, Prince Archie, 4, and Princess Lilibet, 2. After being asked what he believes the pair's future looks like, Mr. Scobie told the publication, I can predict their future. I'm not even sure they know what they want. Although not specifically mentioning Harry, the author did say that one thing is certain for Meghan. He said, but one thing is for sure, Meghan has made it clear that she wants nothing to do with the British monarchy. She wasn't even present at King Charles' coronation. Speaking of the couple's highlights up until this point, he said, Meghan and Harry have launched a large charitable foundation, Archwell. You have to give them time to see what they really achieve there. The opportunities will come, I have no doubt. It has been reported that Meghan is looking at branching back into the Hollywood scene, particularly after her recent appearance at Variety's Power of Women Awards last week. Posing on the red carpet, Meghan even teased that some exciting new projects are on the way. Meghan's appearance without Prince Harry even led to speculation that the Duchess might return to Hollywood without including her husband. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online, advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial one project that remains an annual focus for the Duke of Sussex is the Invictus Games, one which has been deemed by experts as his best work. The latest games were held in Germany back in September, with Harry even celebrating his 38th birthday in the hosting city. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex still hold on to their lucrative deal with Netflix, which they signed in 2020. As well as their explosive docuseries, which was released last December, October saw the release of Harry's solo series, Heart of Invictus.